Well, new reports on a bizarre and potentially troubling site at Japan's damaged nuclear power plant. International nuclear experts believe melted fuel is causing a small, uncontrolled chain reaction there, sending out a burst of heat, radiation, and a blue flash of light. From what we understand, this is not good news for the workers trying to prevent a nuclear meltdown there. Dominic Di Natale is streaming live to us from Osaka, Japan. Dominic? Meg, it's what's known as a localized criticality in the nuclear power business, and uh, it's down to the fact of a partial, a partial reaction going on there. Uh, we've heard uh, before of these in the past. Back here in Japan 12 years ago, three workers were exposed to such a criticality. Two of them were dead in seven months as a result of the radiation to which they were exposed. Now, the IAEA says they don't think it's going to cause a full-on meltdown across the plant, but it is causing concern, obviously, for the workers there who are working in these very challenging conditions. The biggest concern uh, for the workers there is the fact they're not being issued with enough what are called dosimeters. These are personalized or handheld devices which can tell them just how much radiation uh, is around them and whether they're in danger levels. Uh, let me give you some examples of, of what these dosimeters look like. Um, we've been issued with one here. They can either come in sticker form like this, a little yellow sticker with a gauge that the darker it gets tells you how more dangerous it is. Um, you get a wrist version which starts to bleep rather like an alarm clock. It looks like a wrist watch but it's a black disc on a strap and that'll start bleeping when things get dangerous you get a pager version and you get a pen version now tepco the plant operator says look we've only got 300 of these there's 600 of you out there we just can't distribute them to absolutely everybody says it's going to try to however no wonder the workers are getting so terrified you know we broke that story here two days ago about the fukushima 50 saying they expect to die the world's now picked up the rest of that story and they're hearing from more workers about they too have accepted their fate that they are going to die of radiation poisoning it must be very challenging for them if they're not given the equipment and then being sent into the reactors and sent across the plant complex not knowing just how much danger they're actually in and especially when the government keeps saying actually the data we're giving you on radiation levels isn't actually accurate anyway we're going to mm. have to keep retesting all in all a terrible tragic dilemma for the guys there certainly is oh, Dominic thank you for the great reporting you've been doing however disturbing it may be Dominic Di Natale